Well, 2013 took no time at all to put off its first a tropical storm of the season. We are now looking at Tropical Storm Sunamu, continuing to push on here towards the west. Now moving across Pelawan out of the Sulu Sea, and really, it is a rather disorganized tropical storm, but the center of circulation is there. You can kind of see it moving along these southern portions of Pelawan moving on towards the west and then eventually south of the Spratly Islands and into the South China Sea where it very well can continue to remain about the tropical storm intensity bringing some heavy rainfall across the southern portions of Vietnam here but this is the current track from the Japan Meteorological Agency uh, it's on our tropical information center now being dubbed the Sunamu information center if you go to westernpacificweather.com not just this here also have some satellite information and uh, if you want to join in on chat and i'm actually the only person in here at the time but there's uh people in and out throughout the day if you want to talk about the storm and not to mention the consistent feed that we have being posted on here about the latest information and one of the uh, news stories that actually we were talking about earlier today was a ferry or a merchant vessel that could not get into port and actually ran aground there in southern Visayas due to those gusty winds and that's one of the only reports we're really hearing of severe damage uh thankfully no deaths are coming out of this storm system the good news is it's starting to intensify as it moves away from the philippines current radar imagery there this is out out of the radar out of Cebu still showing some thunderstorm activity towards the north of the city uh, very well could be bringing some heavy rainfall about 20 to 30 millimeters an hour would not be surprised at all so still the risk of flooding across this area but if we look off towards the north into the Manila area, well, good for you is that it doesn't look like any of this precipitation is impacting you off there. And it looks like most of it should be staying off here towards the east, really just as the, the rain kind of falls out over top of the mountains. And also most of it staying down there towards the south, but still some localized storms popping up. Actually, one storm just off the coastline here at this time. And that's what we're expecting to see throughout the next several but where is the center of the storm system going to be going and who's going to be seeing the heavy rainfall next? Well, center's down here, continuing the track off here towards the west, and we have the intertropical convergence zone down here towards the south. It's really going to want to filter into that low pressure area because off here towards the north, you have the Siberian high continuing to push down on this. So unlikely that this is going to track off there uh, towards Hanai and China, eventually in a recurve scenario, really not going to happen. And instead, expect this to kind of meander off there towards the west, slightly intensifying before my thoughts. It should just gradually weaken out as it gets embedded and back into the intertropical convergence zone. But before it does so, still around Ho Chi Minh City, you still could be seeing some heavy rainfall due to that moisture inflow. And even as far south as the northern portions of Malaysia, uh, you could see some moisture. But this particular model really doesn't pick up on it. And I wouldn't even expect that until uh, Saturday, maybe going into Saturday. Sunday, but for the time being, expect us to move off there towards the west, continue to linger just south of Vietnam, and very well could bring you some heavy rainfall. On the other hand, look farther here towards the east, we also have another area starting to pop up. This is going into the 6th, and that's due to an area of convection that's just been lingering there near uh, Palau. Very strong intertropical convergence zone at this time. This is just showing the visible slash infrared imagery, and you can see uh, a sun and moon continuing to move off here towards the west across Pelawan, now into the South China Sea, getting sheared off towards the north. That's another reason why this is going to be staying a weak storm system. You can just see those shear lines pulling off. But meanwhile, also have this convection over Palau, and that's what this particular model is possibly picking up on, a very weak cyclonic circulation pushing across the area, but still bringing some more heavy rains, and that's the big risk. And also, you're still seeing that thunderstorm activity push on shore. Over several days, if you get about 50 millimeters a day in these areas that have been hit uh, rather harshly by Bofa, that is really a major factor as far as flooding goes. So definitely want to continue to watch this whole expanse of just heavy rainfall. And not just there, if we look farther towards the west, once again across Malaysia, even off towards Thailand, you're seeing that thunderstorm activity due to that strong intertropical convergence zone continuing to linger. Even over towards uh, places like Kota Kinabalu, you're definitely seeing some strong thunderstorms this evening as well and going into the fourth. And this is just pulling back and looking at the bigger picture with our tropical storm. Here we also have the widespread convection off here towards the east and then off towards the north. Talk about snow. If you want to go skiing here in western Japan, it is the perfect time because that sea effect snow is continuing to push off here following behind a low pressure area that is now pushing off there towards the east. Well, as that does so, it just brings in that cold air out of the Siberian high and 
all of this works together because that same flow towards the south is what is shearing off our storm here over the Philippines. So just a quick little note there. And also we have our Westpac on uh, right in there. All right, that is all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com. Please do stop by that Tropical Information Center. You also can follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Western Pacific Weather or follow me at Robert Spetta. And don't forget to check out Weathercast, uh, Weathercaster Pat's channel, RP Weather. You can subscribe to his channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That's one thing I really strongly uh, hope that you do. It helps us out, and hopefully we can help you out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.